This is the pipe bursting technology. How it's working. We have a cable, big strong cable, approximately one inch, and we pull the new pipe through the old one. And this is the tease, we crack the old pipe, they go in inside and they broke the pipe and bring the new pipe through the old one. We're able to do four inch, three inch and two inch line. And this is the pipe, this is the multiple connection, what you do. And we connected the pipe together. And when we pull it, the pipe, we're going through the old one and bring it. This is the best quality to replace it, trench less repair sewer because you have a new pipe, wherever 100 plus year life expectancy was no problem, whatever has happened is really, really good quality. But on this technology, we need all the branch connection, we need digging and reconnect it. And it doesn't work, and we cannot pipe burst and save the connection. This is the more damage in your house. But you have only back-to-back -back bathroom and a main line on the front. This is the best technology to do because you pull it and bring a new line. You can do two inch from your kitchen to the bathroom and from bathroom to the outside. And all house gonna be have brand new sewer pipe. For the pipe bursting, we provide seven year warranty and hundred year life expectancy. This is the senior living house and owner of this business, they wanna give this business to the son and they decide to pipe bursting. It's a little bit more work than epoxy line, but she decided to do pipe bursting because it's gonna be great, no problem for hundred plus year. Because pipe bursting, you have a brand new plastic pipe with no problem for next hundred plus years. And little issue what we have here, we're talking here is a original cast iron pipe connection. This is the offset and why we not recommend and we never install rubber coupling. And if you see someone install rubber coupling underground, ask them to remove it. It's up to code, it's legal, but it's create the issue like an offset over here. It's another video for that. There's a clean out, someone install it, make a connection. And we will do from here, install the pipe bursting equipment over here and pull it from the bathroom. And here's the difficulties, what we have in this house. This is the section is original house. This is the original house. Then you have an original entrance. And this side of the house, it's built later. And they build above the original uh, cast iron pipe. Then we have a bathroom over here. It's a standard back to back to bathroom, nothing. And then pipe going over here on the hallway and going through the middle of the house. Then come inside. Here, they have a bathroom on the second floors. And here's a bathroom on the first floor. This all ABS, second floor ABS. They make tie-in and connection to the cast iron pipe. And here is a tie-in and, and how you see over here, someone who did this work, they did perfect work because they install stainless steel for underground connection and this pipe don't have any offset. When are we gonna be do pipe bursting right now? When we pull this pipe from the bathroom all the way to here, this connection is gonna be cracked. And it's the reason why we dig in this hole because we have physical reconnect. With the epoxy lining, we can line it and go through with no digging at all. But because the owner wanna do 100 plus year pipe stay with no problem 100%, we dig in the hole and we will do reconnection over here after bring the new pipe and connect to the existing bathroom ABS. Now we go into the bathroom and original we came here because shower and tub doesn't work. And here's the bathroom where we remove the flange, remove the drain the sink. We don't touch this bathroom at all. We're working from bathroom over here. And originally we came, shower doesn't work. We start digging to replace sanitary tea for the shower and tub. And we find out kitchen is full o'clock. You cannot see, but it's horrible. Main line is all fallen by the parts. Right now we're digging. We're digging only one bathroom and we're able to replace drain for both sides. Those bathrooms we don't touch at all. We just destroy one bathroom over here and do all work from here. And we will do pipe bursting from here. Pipe gonna be coming from here all the way to outside. Then right now, kitchen. Here is a kitchen. We will bring line for kitchen from here. They will go inside from here to inside and going all the way to the kitchen. We're gonna be pipe burst two inch. Let's go, I show you what's happened over there. Yeah. They have a connection somewhere under island. 
we don't want to destroy the island to reconnect the kitchen because we have to go same way like in the bathroom that I show you and reconnect the kitchen. On this purpose, we go different way. We're going to be pipe burst the line. Here's we dig in the hole where we're going to be connected to the kitchen. And from here, same spot, we're going to be going the line for the laundry. And this is going here. Let's go here in the laundry room. Then we come out over here and bring drain to this section and go create a drain for laundry and bathroom. And you see the drain, old broken drain, we're not gonna be using it anymore, is a dead pipe. We'll bring a new ABS pipe, two inch, over here. For kitchen, because it's no room for equipment, we cannot install, when pipe is like six or 12 inch underground, we cannot install equipment for pipe bursting. It has to be at least two feet. But because it's a kitchen, it's always working this way. On the other side of the kitchen, your jackhammer section of the hole, you dig it down, and then wall is a support for the pipe bursting equipment. And when we install equipment, they have a support through the wall, through the foundation, we can pull. Because there's a lot of pressure on the wall to pull the new pipe. And it cannot be installed at the six inch underground. It just doesn't work, it's impossible. But because we have a wall and support, then we easily can pull the pipe two inch from the bathroom all the way to outside and make all connection, clean outs, everything's gonna be perfect here. Everything's gonna be perfect here. Here's the kitchen and here's the pipe bursting equipment when you pull it and pull it everything from the and we reset yesterday probably four or five times and it doesn't go and we complain it's a wet dirt and they just push in the dirt and we cannot the pull but then we're thinking maybe it's a foundation it doesn't make sense because middle of the house and right now we try to tunnel from the bathroom see wherever is the head stuck probably we're guessing for we don't know and then next step gonna be digging in the middle of the living room. This is some think what can happen with the pipe bursting. If something on the way what's blocked the pipe and you cannot go through, then only one way to release the equipment and do anything step else, it just break the floor digging and see what is there. Now they're gonna be doing jack hammering over there and here's the pipe and they stuck in the middle and we have to release somehow and we try to tunnel in under and see what's happened over there. And let's go this way. Foundation going around the house and almost never inside. This is the bathroom wall. This is the bathroom wall and this is the living room and the kitchen. And it doesn't make sense how the pipe stuck somewhere on this area. It doesn't make any sense. But if so, then we have to gonna be jackhammering like few tiles over here, get in and release the pipe and see why it's go. And on the kitchen, important part where we're looking, the kitchen not in a foundation, in a concrete, in a slab, where the kitchen is. And here's what we have. Okay, here's the cable. They go in through the pipe. And what we're looking, sometimes this pipe, two inch, they here in the slab, they too shallow. And then we cannot do pipe bursting because in the concrete. We dig in here and make sure pipe not in a slab, not in shallow, and the pipe is over here. But it's, it's like super strange, like super pressure, and it doesn't go. Right now, we'll see what's happened today. But whole day, we're supposed to be finished at 2 p.m., like pipe burst in the whole house and make a connection. And we work until 5 p.m., and we're not finished even kitchen. Like right now, what we have to do is uh, dig in and find the problem, release the pipe, and finally finish the pipe burst. They dig in, tunnel, almost four feet down over there, and they went almost where the pipe is, they see the rebar on top and I will show you other side and here is the pipe they go in over here and here is the footing and when we stuck we see the rebar here is the rebar and we're stuck on this rebar and we'll, okay nothing we can do who can expect that footing over here we have a tile 12 12 like 
three feet over and wall over three feet foundation and the rebar and it's all original build it's not something mover changes here's the break the pipe and you see pipe is bad they collapse it but the cable pulling the pipe in and we go and break it we just go in and we have a jackhammer and release in the middle of the hallway is it for putting is not expectable at all which is crazy, but this is how pipe bursting work. And we pull the new pipe through. Easy, nice, beautiful question. And here's uh, how it's working. Over here. Here's the cable coming from the pipe. We're pulling the pipe and they come. And they bring the new pipe through. We pull it and here is the equipment which working and pulling the pipe. Just little by little the cable going up. We're pulling the cable. They coming out over here. And the pipe come out. We have a kitchen with laundry but they under island. Outside. We're gonna be making a connection here and slope going up, a little bit backward but up for the laundry. And we're gonna be have a laundry here. And here is a line almost here. It's take this job take average 20 minutes to pull. We spent two days because foundation in the middle and we don't want a jackhammer and try to Tunnel in from other side, the bathroom, and not able. Okay, pipe has come out here, it's gonna be shortly. I don't know if someone's gonna be watch this video that long, but here is the reality. Water has come out, pipe has come out. We wasted two days, two days only for for those foundation. We cannot figure it out why it doesn't pull. Because it's go like three, four feet and stop, like okay. Work in different ways, start to tunnel it from other side, then hit the rebar, and it's all. We stop. Have to get camera middle of the room. See, it's everything preparing for the kitchen. Kitchen drain, clean out outside. We just need to put a combo for new pipe connected and make a connection. Oh, it's more interesting part. Pipe start to pull it out. Because it's not no support and pipe just, just coming. Pipe gonna be stopped over there the wood and just keep cracking and breaking this is the winner pipe come out come out come out the wood the new pipe all one come out keep going 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 see three minutes work when we start, is it three minutes right now and job done and we was two days. Three minute job, two days work. N never have before that. I cannot expect that we can have a foot in the middle of the dining room. Okay. See, the pipe is cracking easy. Because it's really old. And all this black is a sludge. The pipe full of the sludge. And then it's the common. Here's the pipe cracking. We're pulling the pipe and doing pipe bursting. This is the process. Here's the head. Here's the head. Okay, they can stop. Okay, head is here. And here's the head. We will cut it over here and make all connections what we need. Here. And here's the pipe inside. You see, it's a full of sludge and pipe is dead. This is from inside. And this is equipment allowed us to pull it pipe through. And this is the start process for three inch mainline pipe bursting. We connected the head, we pulled the cable from one side of the house to another one. And this is the preparing and we have a, uh, equipment was pulled the head 
you see 90 turn degree they break the old pipe and go replace the old pipe to the new one and this is how actual process go and how you see pipe going underground and we break the old one with this equipment and this is the we have a Y connection for other bathroom we remove the ABS Y and this is how crack the old pipe break it completely destroy it and bring a new one on the same place through that and later after we install the pipe and all those debris stay over there and we don't do anything with that we just install new abs uh, y connected the line this is the kitchen line going from the outside of the house where is the kitchen window to the bathroom and main line and here we connect it all together kitchen <laughs> First time for 10 years. This job has to be take two and a half day max. And we're here gonna be probably five, five and a half days. And we stock extra two days because of kitchen. This is the line where we have to bring. We have connected the laundry and connected the kitchen and clean out outside. But when we start to pull it and we pull it only three feet, three and a half and it's stuck. We think it's a water leaking here a long time and we think dirt is soft and pipe bursting equipment just push the dirt out and like, okay, let's see what we can do. And first day they work and try to support the equipment to pull it because it's, it's like coming out. And when they support it and they doesn't move, they figure out it doesn't move anymore, then it's stuck. And here's a dining room house built originally this is the original wall for the bathroom because all cast iron pipe are the nissan's original and it's built originally how this is the support the wall beam on the center like it's probably some foundation over here kitchen line going in the middle of the dining room who can expect it's going to be almost four feet out from the wall foundation and a rebar and it's all the concrete going I'm okay if it's only concrete, someone digging a bigger hole and pour the concrete, but rebar to have it four feet away from the wall and it's stuck over there. But everything is done for today. We start at 8 a.m. in the morning, 10.47, and it's kitchen is done and main line is done. Here's a new pipe, this is other hole, but we're digging this for the purpose, this one, because here's a from additional ABS already bathroom, first and second floor drains and we need to reconnect it. This is we digging for the purpose because we know we have to make a connection here. This is this is reason and client know we're planning. That in the kitchen in unexpected for 10 years, it's the first time I see those foundation that far. Like in the plumbing, always something new. Guys removing the equipment right now. Job is done, we will make a connection and today 80% gonna be done. Everything extra today work only because of foundation in the middle of the dining room. Crazy. But we did it. Nothing that we cannot handle, even any difficulties and problems. We will figure out the way to do. Here is a two back-to-back -back restrooms. One restroom is over here, another restroom is the other side. And this is the two inch. And now you can see it's a tunnel four feet down over there, what guys made for the kitchen line with stock. We're gonna be make this kitchen line, level it and connect it for the was a tub and shower drain going over here, uh, figure five for toilet back to back and another drain for the two sinks back to back. And it's all job gonna be 100% done today and people will able to use restroom, at least other side and other bathroom for ADU.